Hi, I'm Cynthia Beck, Master Hypnotist, and I'm going to explain a little bit about what hypnosis is and what it's not. I get lots of questions. People have concerns. They're afraid that I'll be able to control them, or that I will give them suggestions that they don't want to follow, or that somehow hypnosis can make you do things you don't want to do or make you look silly. We don't do any of those things in clinical hypnosis. And hypnosis really is just something that happens in your anatomy. It was Aristotle that said, what the mind can imagine with a vivid imagination, the body is compelled to obey. That means that if you imagine something stressful happening in your future, your body will feel the stress right at that moment. The other thing that's really important to know about the body is that it doesn't know the difference between real or imagined. Let's say you go to a movie and it's a suspenseful movie and you're watching it. All of a sudden the music starts to change and it gets to that suspenseful music and you know something's going to happen. But you're not ready for it when it does and something startling happens. Now you know you're in a movie. Your brain totally comprehends that. But your body doesn't know the difference between real and imagined, and so your heart rate goes up, your blood pressure goes up, you start to feel very stressed in a movie. And that's part of the fun, because we can feel stressed in the movie and then walk out into the parking lot to get our car and know that it was just really good fun. But those concepts are important as we start to talk about what hypnosis is and how it works. But basically, hypnosis is brain anatomy. So watch tape two, and I'll talk a little bit more about that.